Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Show Me a Scene from Any Movie That Exposes America. I'm intrigued and excited to jump into this, but before we do that, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. If you want to subscribe to me or that, put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link. Follow me, talk to me, I'm human, I talk back. If you guys got a favorite video suggest you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. What we got? Show me that one scene from any movie where you were like, damn. This Tell students that America is so star- I've seen, I've seen this scene so many times on TikTok since that show released. I just, I've seen it so many times, but let's watch it. From any movie where you were like, damn. This Tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom. Canada has freedom. Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. So 207 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them have freedom. All right. And yeah, you, uh, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. And one of them is... There is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, third in median household income, number four in labor force, and number four in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Show me that one... God, more than the next 26 countries combined? We really, oh, the, oh, because we have the most Christians in America, so that's what he said, number most people that believe in angels. Uh, is Yeah, when he broke it down like that, that's the, that movie scene was going viral everywhere. I feel like people outside of America was like, finally, finally, somebody has said it exactly how it is. They have put it out there so perfectly. Uh, but keep it rolling. More than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Show me that one scene from any movie where you were like, damn, this is facts. Confirm that final truth that out of many we are one. You hear that line? The Line's for you. Don't make me laugh. For one people. It's a myth created by Thomas Jefferson. Oh, now you're gonna have a go at Jefferson, huh? My friend, Jefferson's an American saint. Because he wrote the words, all men are created equal. Words he clearly didn't believe since he allowed his own children to live in slavery. He's a rich wine snob who's sick of paying taxes to the Brits. So yeah, he wrote some lovely words and aroused the rabble and they went out and died for those words. While he sat back and drank his wine and fucked his slave girl. This guy wants to tell me we're living in a community. Don't make me laugh. I'm living in America. And in America, you're on your own. America's not a country. It's just a business. Mm -hmm. you don't fucking pay me. Any movie. God, 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 God. That's he. What movie is that? America is not a country. It's just a business. Now, Evan, pay me. Sheesh. He wants to say all men are created equal, but he let his kids live through slavery. Know what I'm saying? So he wrote some pretty words, and while some men went out and died and fought uh, to protect those words, he stayed home, got drunk, and f this slave whore. Elf, keep it going. Jeez. You don't fucking pay me. Any movie where you were like, damn, they had that location. They bombed the village where the rebels are hiding. Fifteen hundred people that I never met, never had no problem with, get killed. Now the politicians are saying, oh, send in the Marines to secure the area because they don't give a shit. It won't be their kid over there getting shot just like it wasn't them when their number got called because they were all pulling a tour in the National Guard. It'll be some kid from Southie over there taking shrapnel in the ass. He comes back to find that the plan he used to work at got exported to the country he just got back from. And the guy who put the shrapnel in his ass got his old job because he'll work for 15 cents a day and no bathroom breaks. Meanwhile, he realizes the only reason he was over there in the first place was so that we could install a government that would sell us oil at a good price. And of course, the oil companies use a little skirmish over there to scare up domestic oil prices. A cute little ancillary benefit for them, but it ain't helping my buddy at two fifty a gallon. 
They're taking their sweet time bringing the oil back, of course. Maybe they even took the liberty of hiring an alcoholic skipper who likes to drink martinis and fucking play slalom with the icebergs. It ain't too long till he hits one, spills the oil, and kills all the sea life in the North Atlantic. Show me that one. God, bro. Wait, what are these movie scenes, bro? Jeez. He hits Jeez. one, spills the oil, and kills all the sea life in the North Atlantic. Show me that one scene from any movie where you were like, damn, this is huh? Oh, I've seen this, I've seen this movie, man. I've seen, uh, this movie touched your heart. This movie, this movie hurt to from watch. From any movie where you were like, damn, this is huh? Why are we the only people in this country that are expected to do things without violence? Mm -hmm. You know what white people do when they're cross? They kill people. They don't march. They don't do protests. They don't ask for permission. They don't ask no questions. They react with force. I mm. served, I know. I know how it goes. For everybody except us. We don't own the people. They expect to take it on the cheek and take it on the other cheek and then walk it off. Oh. that one scene god that was shake it just shake you up every time bro because these movie scenes are straight facts said we the only people expected to take it on the cheek take it on the other cheek then walk off now walk it off my bad but oh my gosh man these scenes are crazy god that damn. one scene from any movie where you were like damn this is facts in this generation, this clip is completely accurate. Just calm down. I am calm. I just want my headset. Sir, our country is going through a very difficult time right now, and if you're not going to cooperate... I don't know where a headset ties into patriotism. Is there a problem here, sir? I, I don't think so. Can you come to the back of the plane with me so we can have a talk? A talk about what? There's not a problem. This steward is just... Keeps Flight me. attendant. The flight attendant keeps ignoring me when I ask. Calm down. I am calm. What is it with you people? You people. <laughs> oh, man, wait a minute. I don't mean you people. I mean you people. Sir, I will not tolerate any racist behavior on the plane. This is a very difficult time for our country. I, I know that. I'm not a racist. I just want to watch the movie. I'm only going to say this one more time, sir. Calm down. I'm calm! <laughs> That one scene. <laughs> they be pushing you. You be completely calm. Completely calm. And then they push you and keep pushing you and keep pushing you until you're not calm anymore. Like, oh my lord. I feel my guy was so nice and polite. He was so nice and polite. But he at, at some point, you get tired of being nice and polite because you're not being heard. Calm down. I'm calm. <laughs> I love that. That one man. scene. From any movie where you were like, damn, this is fact. Up in the air, just like that angel, too far off the earth to pick up the details. Lewis and his big ideas. Big ideas are all you love. America is what Lewis loves. So what? Maybe I do. You don't know what I love. You don't. Hey, America, Lewis. I hate this country. Nothing but a bunch of big ideas and stories and people dying and then people like you. The white cracker who wrote the national anthem knew what he was doing. He set the word free to a note so high nobody could reach it. That was deliberate. Nothing on earth sounds less like freedom to me. You come with me to room 1013 over at the hospital, Lewis, I'll show you America. Terminal, crazy, and mean. I live in America, Lewis. I don't have to love it. You do that. Everybody's gotta love something. Show me that one scene from any movie where you were like, damn, this is... My son has had clean checkups every year since the day he was born. How could the doctors not pick it up? He might not have been tested thoroughly enough. Why not? You got an HMO, right? Yeah. Well, there's your answer. I mean, HMOs pay their doctors not to test. Wow. That's their way of keeping costs down. All right, let's say Mike didn't need additional testing and insurance says they won't cover them. The doctor keeps his mouth shut and come Christmas, 
The HMO sends the doctor a fat ass bonus check. Is that true? Possible. Not likely, but possible. You telling me that these doctors may have known what was wrong with my son and they could have treated him all along? Uh, who knows? I don't know, John. Don't take this personal, Doc. Job bunch of goddamn crooks. You don't know what you're talking oh, everything. about. What about Show me that one. On everything. On everything, bro. Like, that is crazy. That is crazy to listen to. And it, it sucks because it, it's true. It sucks because that stuff is true, man. Like, a bunch of goddamn crooks. You don't know what you're talking about. What about Show me that one scene. Crazy. Now that you brought it up, did you know that the Taliban was a creation of the CIA? To fight the Russians? Whatever. They were still harboring terrorists. Yeah, right. Terrorists that were never found. Just like the weapons of mass destruction that were never found in Iraq. Do you want to get into the debt toll in Iraq? 500,000 civilians and counting. And what do Britain and America say when they don't find these weapons? It's simple. They just say sorry. And still refuse to relinquish control of these countries. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that just because you're American, wear a fancy suit, and call yourself the president, doesn't make you any less of a terrorist. Mm. I'm saying that if you don't stop meddling in other people's countries, you will face a backlash. If Muslims like you feel that way, then why don't you get out of our country? Wow. We will. As soon as you promise to leave ours. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. I heard that response before. I heard that one before. That hey, she couldn't say nothing after that. She could she could not say nothing after that. If Muslims like you feel that way about our country, why don't you just leave it? We will as soon as you get out of ours. That was a tough comeback, but no, I'm he he's I, what he's saying was absolutely right, bro. Just because you're president, you and you put on a fancy suit does not mean you are any less of a terrorist. As soon as you promise to leave ours. Dang, yeah, yeah. Look for you can't say nothing after that. Show me that one scene. <clears throat> Why are you guys so anti-dictators? Imagine if America was a dictatorship. You could let 1% of the people have all the nation's wealth. You could help your rich friends get richer by cutting their taxes and bailing them out when they gamble and lose. You could ignore the needs of the poor for health care and education. Your media would appear free, but would secretly be controlled by one person and his family. You could wiretap phones. You could torture foreign prisoners. You could have rigged elections. You could lie about why you go to war. You could fill your prisons with one particular racial group and no one would complain. You could use the media to scare the people into supporting policies that are against their interests. God damn. Oh, are we living in a dictatorship, bro? Is this a, the way he just broke it down, bro? What, what on, I don't even know what to say. I don't know the response to that. That's all we got for this one. If you guys got a favorite video you want to see me react to, you can subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video, a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You don't subscribe to any of that. Put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Uh, I love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy, Dini. Out.